my friends and welcome back to the witcher 3 in yesterday's video we finished up our initial quest in novigrad with our girl tris and have our next one we need to do but in the meantime we've been exploring and picking up other side quests and and the like and in today's video i'm going to attempt to work excuse you i was standing right here minding my own business Must be mad running around in this rain i apparently but in today's video, I want to attempt to work on contract deadly delights. However, I was running up, I was running through merchants, double checking their their contents, and I ran up to this shopkeeper, and apparently he has a quest, so I missed that yesterday. So we're gonna do that right now, apparently. So here we go. Oh, is he a dwarf? A gnome? I'm not sure how that works. All right. What have you got there? Magic accessories, alchemy ingredients, potions, and much more. Interesting. Don't look a bit like a mage. No. True. Perhaps because I'm not a mage, I just take care of the sundries the poor folk who burn at the stake leave behind. Ensure they end up in the right hands. And and you're the right hands, I suppose? Uh, sure, show me what you got. I don't mind. I might need stuff. Fine. What do you have? Naught but rarities at unbeatable pri- Oh shit, you didn't see me here. The halfling, what did he want? And why did he bolt when he saw us coming? The uh, halfling? Half human? Half gnome? Half elf? Half dwarf? I'm con he's halfling of what? <laughs> um, <laughs> he left his soup on the burner. We're going with that one, obviously. <laughs> left his soup on the burner. I've half a mind to put you on the burner, wise ass. Got my eye on you. Let's go. Got my eye on you. So intimidating. <laughs> Before I lose my. Patience. Oh, it's an actual quest. Hey, you want to look? Hey, you want to look at my stuff? Y yes, I do, actually. <laughs> So, uh, Novigrad, the most cosmopolitan city of the north, attracts its fair share of oddballs and eccentrics. One of them was a merchant dealing in unusual goods. While talking to Geralt, he spied some witch hunters approaching and fled at once. Still interested in the secretive merchant's secret wares, Geralt decided to hunt him down. We need to search the area with our witcher senses. Hmm. Quite the brew. Staffling wasn't lying. Scent's gotta be carrying quite a ways. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's the smoke. Oh. The necromancer in which Philippa Eilhart has been declared a public enemy. Information leading to her capture will we be will be rewarded. She's still free? Does she show up in this game? Because that might be awesome. Devil's spawn. You know, I do actually do useful things. I'm just saying. Hey, oh, there he is. Hi. And you're a fine fella for not ratting me out. Prepared to give you a discount for that, mate. So, shall we trade? Sure, let's do it. Yeah, let's. Hopefully no interruptions this time. All right, well, he had a couple books that I haven't read. At least I think I haven't read. And hey, you want to look at my stuff? Is completed. So let's try, attempt to find that one. <laughs> ah, but it has no update. Okay, well, let's go to our inventory and books. Let's read the quest ones first. Moribundia, the vampire's last likeness other. Well, let's look at that. Thereupon Isabella. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Thereupon Isabella took Edward's glistening visage in her hand and embraced his icy lips, which were twisted into a cynical grin. <laughs> Forgive me, my love, she whispered, stifling the sobs, heaving her bosom, but my heart doth long with fiercer passion for yon werewolf, whom thou hatest with all thy vampiric thouness. Vampiric thouness. <laughs> And tis for the best, spoke Edward, shifting his pale face towards the equally pale moon. With me, thy life was ever endangered, and it wouldn't be with a werewolf. I mean, come on. 
with yon werewolf thou shalt know peace and happiness. Edward turned around and took a step towards the exit, but Isabella grabbed his wrist and bade he stop. The touch of her hand was was so tender. His heart newly began to beat anew after centuries of deathly stillness. There is more, she spoke, averting her penetrating, his penetrating gaze. I am with child. <laughs> So does this mean, since Isabella is go wants to be with her werewolf, that CD Projekt Red is um, Team Jacob? <laughs> oh my god, that was the best thing ever. Best thing ever. <laughs> or at least today so far. So we have Tyromancy or the Noble Art of Cheese Divination. Okay, this is a lot to read. What splendid diversity reigns in the kingdom of cheese? The ripened curd can be white or blue, hard or soft, fresh or aged from the milk of cows, sheep, or goats, brined, pickled, or untouched. This list could go on till the end of time, and each of them, every last slice, every morsel and crumb, not only brings with it an unmatched rush of sensory experience, but in the right hands can be made to reveal the universe's most closely guarded secrets in cheese the universe's secrets are in cheese everyone let's let's take a moment for cheese like the innards of a sacrificed animals the flight of a swallow or vivid dreams can be used for divination the depth and size of cheese's holes reveal when it rains when rains will fall in the coming year, while the color of mold veins tell who shall love whom, and the scent of a hard grano padano predicts when which army will vanquish its foes and which shall perish. The best divination, however, is done using the ancient method of fondue. One must simply melt two different kinds of cheese, preferably emmental and gruyere, in white wine or in a pinch in a dry apple cider. Then one must use a long stick to immerse a morsel of bread in the resultant thick soupy mixture, all the while keeping in mind the question, what shall my child be like when he or she, as the case may be, grows? Then bring the cheese covered morsel of bread up to a candle so that it casts a shadow on the wall. The shape will provide a sure and easily understood answer to your query. <laughs> I mean, I get it's the Middle Ages, but like, I feel like people would draw the line at cheats. <laughs> cheese dictating your future. Anyway, let's quick save after that. That was <laughs> the, uh, the quest, the book about Isabella and Edward and Jacob that is... That is amazing. That is so amazing. Oh, Morphous Tech Addicts, yay. All right, let's get to this quest, because I want to, no, 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 no. This is not the quest I want to work on. What's your contracts? I don't want to go to Skellige. Stop making me game. Get information from the medic. So this is the quest that we picked up from a, a contract notice board situation, and then talked to one of the guards, and his fellow guards went, not missing, they were murdered or they're dead. I don't know if they're murdered. And the medic saw the bodies. So we have to ask the medic for information so that we can find out what kind of beastie we're dealing with. There's the quick TLDR for you. You're the medic. What can I help you with? I like the whole uh, Middle Ages kind of mask, especially right now. <laughs> anyway, dead guards, tell me about them. I'm looking into the dead guards. Heard you did autopsies. Did their friends hire you? Good. I'm happy to help. I'm just saying if anybody walked around wearing that right now, people might get even more. Anyway, off topic. <laughs> uh, find any wounds on the bodies. Find any claw or fang marks on the bodies? Fangs? No. Claws? Not quite. Only scratches. Fingernails, most likely. From their adventures with whores. Okay, so they went to prostitutes. Where were the bodies found? Last body. Where was it found? In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district. Someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Hmm. Need to examine that spot. Heard the corpses were desiccated. Heard the bodies were desiccated. Do you believe a beast killed them? I don't. The bodies were dried out. 
but perhaps they try to apprehend a mage who cast a nasty spell on them. Was it dehydration? Strictly speaking, no. Though I don't quite know what to compare it to. Thanks. Should go see the place where they were found. Good luck. I like that they took the time to, when the actor did the voiceover work, they toned it in such a way to where it sounds like it's inside of a mask. I, I appreciate that small detail. Anyway, so we need to examine the crime scene using my Witcher senses. So where are we going? I'm not that, not, not that far away. It's a city, so it's so much easier to run from point A to point B than it is like out in Velen where it took me like 20 minutes to get from one section to the other. I'm, I'm exaggerating slightly, but you understand what I mean. Plus, and I get to see pretty buildings, although it's been nothing but raining, I feel like, since we've been in Novigrad. Don't get me wrong, I love the rain, but, like, it's becoming excessive at this point. Uh, All the ships. Hmm. The King of Bangers seem all to wear the checkerboard masks over their face. Ah! How did you get up there? Where's Dandelion? Oh. I am assuming I get to see Dandelion in this game, but like, where is he? <gasps> oh no, it's Triss. Triss Marigold, witch and harlot, is wanted for the practice of black magic and conspiracy against the crown. And for information leading to her capture will be rewarded. Oh no. Bodies were found here. Gotta look for clues. Anything unusual. Hi kids, don't you wanna, you know, not stay in the rain? Huh. Let's examine. Hobnailed guards boots. Unimportant. Okay. A child's footprints. Damn, lots of foot traffic. Oh, they're hooves. Hoof prints, clearly. A horse? Hmm. No horse I know walks on two legs. Oh. I think I know what it is. But that doesn't make sense. Right? Uh, succubus. They have hooves for feet. Although there's lots of mythical creatures that have hooves for feet. I can't think of any others in the Witcher world. Evidence all points to crippled Kate's. Talk to the brothel owner? Okay, that's I'm guessing that's a back door. Front door maybe it's over here? Again. It's always raining. Uh. Always. When I was running to the shop peak, they were blaming witches for it. The, or sorceresses for the rain. Snake eyes. Got a snake's tongue as well. <sighs> You're a vulgar one. Can see it in your face. I, I'm in a, I'm in a uh, den of iniquity. <laughs> um, ladies. How are you? Uh, let's talk to the madam and get out of here. Greetings. Oh, here it is. The apocalypse. A witch has walked into my brothel. What's strange about that? What's strange is you. Everyone knows witches are freaks, mutants, unnatural. And this is a decent brothel for whores with principles. Well, spit it out. Got all the same bits in your trousers like a normal lad. Last I checked, everything was where it should be. <laughs> So, I don't know if it's a good analogy, and I don't want to insult anybody by making this analogy, but I get kind of like the Church of the Eternal Fire is kind of in comparison to like Middle Ages Catholic Church, where it was very much involved in the day-to-day -day living and the governing of countries and villages especially, and witch burning, that's what I think of. But like, how is it that a, a den of iniquity, a, a whorehouse basically, gets to practice its profession and 
but witches aren't oh, but witches get burned at the stake i just feel like there's a little bit of a, anyway I, I think you kind of understand what i'm attempting to say but saying it poorly i'd like some time with one of your girls no no i wouldn't i'm sure Geralt might but i as playing Geralt, can't i'm aware that i will probably sleep with somebody in the course of this game but it is it's a little embarrassing when I put it on the internet, my reactions to it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, have you heard about the murdered guards? Heard about the murders? Guardsmen? Many perish round here. It's the pleasure kills them. Mm, want me to come back with the temple guard? It's the pleasure that kills them? No, no, I don't think so. So why don't we just Jedi mind trick the truth out of her? Tell the truth. The succubus. It draws customers. It's raised our take in something wonderful. I know it's a threat, but I don't know that it kills. Uh-huh. A succubus. Where'll I find it? I've placed it in a house nearby. Here's the key. <laughs> Yeah, I thought succubuses don't kill unless they're like defending themselves. Like that's the whole point of being a succubus is to, you know, if they're dead, you don't really get your jollies with them. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, let's look at the map. How far away are we? Okay, not that far. Not that far at all. Harborside. Just trying to look and see if there's anyone else interesting to talk to. <laughs> Don't make me sick. Well, sweetie, you aren't wearing that many clothes, so it might. Oh, it's piss. No, I'm not insane. Ding ding, oh, the right. ships are in town. Double shades. Mm. Mm. Didn't look that right. Alright, Sucky Bus is here. But it's locked. But she gave me the key. Firm. Firm. I love that it kind of sparkles because it's raining, so it would be yeah, shimmery like it was wet. <laughs> oh, it's the little details. Ah, here we go. Let's go up the stairs here. There we go. Salma. Hi. Who are you? Ever heard of witchers? Have you come to kill me? Um, I want to talk first. Dunno. Want to talk first? <laughs> Why'd you kill those guards? I was careless. Let them surprise me. They wished to kill me. I had to defend myself. That it? No heart-rending story about human hatred for all things different, all things strange? I'm not one to lie, nor do I kill without reason. Hmm. Uh, I really don't want to kill her because I feel like that's in the succubus's kind of personality. Is that the right word? But they don't just kill people for giggles. Like they're a succubus. If they're dead, they don't get their feeding in. You know what I mean? So anyway, I think you still need to leave the city though. Go, go ply your wares elsewhere. You got to leave the city. And what if I don't? I'll have to kill you. I despise change. How stupid of me to walk into an ambush, let myself be surprised. I'll have to lie about killing you. Usually I bring a trophy. Very well, take this. And this, because I'm furious with you. Okay. Though I shall calm down once I'm away from this place. <laughs> I love the accent. Mogrim. Contract Deadly Delights is updated. Just saying it's totally a Draenei. <laughs> um, can I loot the place let's let me go loot everything in here and i will be right back all right nothing exciting to loot in fact there was absolutely nothing to loot so we need to run back to the guard to collect our reward but i think i had other updates to look at but we'll look at all of them together at once at once together one of those versions <laughs> hello novigrad guard Hmm? I know how the guards died. Guards were killed by a succubus. Suck. Suck. 
Succubus? In Novigrad? How? Light of the Eternal Fire protects the city? Well... Must have gone out a few times recently. <laughs> anyway, Succubus won't harm anyone anymore. Here's proof. Masterful work, Witcher. And here's your reward, as promised. Farewell. Okay, well, Contract Deadly Delights is updated and completed. So let's look at that one. Here we go. Geralt espied something on the city notice board. Oh, I read that. During a conversation with a certain guardsman, Geralt learned that members of the City Watch had been disappearing under murky circumstances. He accepted the task of looking into the matter. The clues Geralt found led him to, the, to a house of ill repute. <laughs> As is often the case in such establishments, more than lovemaking was taking place within its walls. I thought there was also a bestiary update, but am I imagining things? Yes, yeah, Salma. I'm not one to lie, nor do I kill without reason. The Witcher's investigation uncovered that a succubus named Salma was responsible for the string of killings afflicting the Novigrad city guard. This came as a surprise, for succubi do not usually commit premeditated cold-blooded murder. Exactly. This is not to say they are not dangerous. They will at times kill on accident when carried away on a particular gushing stream of ecstasy, and at other times they kill in self-defense. Though they have the look of slender maids from the waist up, their supple limbs hide incredible strength. They are also invulnerable to fire, the Igni sign included. They present witchers with an intractable dilemma. Does the monster who wishes men no ill, yet all the same often cause harm, deserve death or mercy? That is exactly the perplexing question faced by Geralt of Rivia. In the end, he believed Salma and decided to let her go free, though he could not shake off the feeling that he might live to regret that decision. I always live to regret all of my decisions. What are you talking about? Uh, was that my last one? I think so. Okay. There was another notice board relatively nearby. Let's go look at that one. Oh, look, I leveled to 15. I need to spend my points. But there was another notice board. Not sweat enough in the gutter. So let's go over there. Oh yeah. This one. Right. The one thing that's plowing free in this city. Yeah. Good point. Oh, it's a bard. He's got a mask on. Yes, master. I'm listening, Sarah. Hmm. Okay, notice board. Let's see. <laughs> Beware of thief. Sunday last, someone broke into the merchant Jin Longobardi cellar, taking out of it a barrel of triple mead. Around the time of the break-in, witnesses saw a thin, bald man rolling a barrel down the street and giggling to himself. The thief was also noticed to be singing a rude song in which he called himself Odrin. If anyone knows the perpetrator's current whereabouts, they are asked to contact the injured party immediately. So contract haunted house. I seek a witcher of unsullied reputation, documentation regarding prior achievements and written references preferred because, you know, witchers totally carry that on them. <laughs> who will undertake the task of combing the residents on the outskirts of the city recently acquired by the undersigned Count Kurt Dysert in order to find and drive off or kill the creature which is haunting it. A sizable reward is guaranteed. Sincere, sincerely, Kurt Dysert, Count of Anchor, written by, by the writ of King Foltis, temporarily in residence at the Kingfisher. Okay. Contract Imp, on behalf of the Merchants Guild, I hereby announce the following. A particularly bold beast, an imp, to our thinking, has taken to thieving in the market near the city gates. Though it has not yet harmed any humans, this monster has caused a great deal of irrecoverable financial loss. Whoever tracks down and kills this imp shall receive a hefty reward, one free of all taxes, in accordance with our Honorable City Councilman's decree number, blah, blah, blah. Do not tarry in providing us assistance, good people, for retail trade is the backbone of a healthy economy. The, the financial well-being of the city's merchants lies in all of your best interests. Sylvester Amello Merchant. 
and high stakes Gwent tournament. Gwent lovers, Count Tybalt invites you to come to the Passiflora, where he shall proud, where he shall proudly host a high stakes Gwent tournament. An offer will not only be. Let's try that again. On offer will not only riveting play against superb opponents, but also fabulous prizes for the victors. I read that wrong, but I get what they're trying to say. Anyway, only ladies and gentlemen with fortunes vast enough to cover the entry fee are invited. We also require an entrance be in possession of an above average deck, one fitted with a good measure of neutral cards. Decks shall be checked before entry is permitted. Hope to see you at Passiflora. Cool. Fist fights. Anyone looking to bash some heads will find plenty of worthy ones in our fair city. Those interested in joining the fun, sign up for our tournament. You'll face these you'll face these most highly honorable gents. Georges George or Gorgeous George. Known as the Pile Driver, Archibald O'Neill, Captain Iron Mortimer, and Duradin, known as the Tailor. This fight quest is what I'm going with. Anyway, contract monster and bits. By order of the Council Number X, a reward has been set aside for killing of the monster which torments and murders residents of the bits after dark. The only acceptable proof of having performed this deed shall be a trophy taken from the monster's body. <laughs> yes, this means your mother's or cousin's or aunt's eyewitness testimony will not suffice, nor will the sworn word of another any other person, regardless of his or her claimed relationship to you, the hierarch, or anyone else, and also without caring one whit for his or her alleged trustworthiness, which supposedly can be attested to by anyone at your favorite drinking hall. For more information and or to collect the reward, see the district superintendent for the bits. Lund by Rich of the City Council Superintendent of the Bits. All right, contracts. Okay, I will. I don't want to click on books accidentally. So contract door slamming shut. Ooh, a, a red door, a, a red skull quest. Let's see. It's right nearby, but high stakes. Also red skull. Anything else? Contract an elusive thief. Not a red skull. Maybe we can do that one. Fists of Fury Novigrad, also Red Skull. It's like danger, danger. Following the thread. Oh, so I've got two quests. Is that it? Following the thread was the monster in the bits, and then there was the one witcher contract, an elusive thief. Mysterious Tracks is 20, but I'm only level 15, so that makes me a little bit nervous. Anyway, so... Go to the marketplace during the day and talk to Sylvester Amello. Hmm. Well, it's not too terribly far away and I can also pick up this quest on the way. So let's go a little bit the long way around and see what we can see. It's only 4.13, so it's technically daytime. our way through here. I love all the wibbly wobbly like pathways. It's so it's so awesome. I I lied. I want to live in Novigrad, not Oxenfurt. <laughs> okay, the quest is straight down here. This must have been one of the ones I saw on my way into town. Snails come out after the rain. We'll catch some. Have a rain. Rain, I like rain. No, is mm. there no Merchant? A good day for commerce. Hmm. I don't think they should be named merchant if I can't purchase from them. Just put it out there. A drunk. Violating divine commands, and worst of all, witches, mutants, stripped of all them. Ah, here crawls a witcher. Look. The corpse-like visage, the beastly eyes. This is magic that's made a mongrel of a man. Well, Mommy, you to carry his his like you. What do you do, kill monsters? I say you both And every so often a wyvern will eat a necker, but does that make it good? 
My quest is with you? Really? The preacher? Just get off my back. Okay. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. Hmm. Yeah, how many live how many people's lives have you actually saved? How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? None. Gonna go with none. There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. But all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. <laughs> that was oh, it? Films today. One of those, like, non-quest quests. Okay. Okay, so I think the... Sylvester Amello is nearby. Let's see, where is he at? Here he is. Oh look, it's another little merchant area. Ah, mutant. You know, one of these days you're gonna insult the wrong witcher and they're gonna put their the sword in your face. See right away I've got the best deals this side of the pond. Okay. Arr. Where is Sylvester? What is over here though? Why is your hair so gray, darling? Winery. <laughs> Because, of course, a big city would have a winery, right? And there's a merchant over here. Let's see what they have. The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push, enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. <laughs> Very good. Manners before trade, always. All right, nothing exciting. So Jeff let's talk to... There he is, Good Sylvester. Greetings, Master. Well, I'm here about the contract. Here about the contract? Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? Oh, Geralt. You ought not jest, Master <laughs> Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. Really? Well, what does this imp look like? All right. So what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. Huh? A cat monster? Is that like a thing? Like, is that like really a thing? Is this going to be like the pigs again? <laughs> anyway, what did the imp steal? What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. Might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Um, sure, I guess. <laughs> Relax, I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. The irony of some of these comments in 2020 is not lost on me. I work for a small business owner, so... <laughs> anyway. One for the price of two. Or, uh... It really is cat paw prints. <laughs> Merchant was right. Actually, does look like a giant cat. <laughs> of course it does. There's cat monsters in The Witcher. Um, what up, do you see? Pain over the that. wall, it looks like. There we go. There's some more and some more. Um. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Hmm. Went this way. And scratched the wall? What? I don't... It, no, it didn't scratch the wall. It climbed up the wall. 
That's so odd. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. Tretagor Gate. I feel like that's been brought up before in other conversations. What's going on over here? Double spoon. Oh, we're just hiding because of the ever eternal rain. So can I just jump? For science, for science. I didn't die, yes. Cleaver's hench, <laughs> it's a hench dwarf. Not a hench man, a hench dwarf. <laughs> These are gonna be like hench elves as well. <laughs> oh, it cha- it, oh, is it like a werewolf or a cat wolf or no, a werecat? Or is it like a shapeshifter? Paw prints end here. Boot prints start there. Could it be the puss in boots? <laughs> okay. Doors wide open. Interesting. Is this thief just like the dumbest one ever? Okay, let's try not to make myself dizzy. Um, I'll loot the place before we leave, but let's, let's look for clues first. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. Jane, please cut out this nonsense at once. This might come to you as a surprise. <laughs> but a giant cat will stick to people... Well, but a giant cat will tend to just stick in people's memory. Why don't you pick some other, oh, safer form like I did? I've been walking around as a beggar for three years now and no one's better than I. And such earnings you wouldn't need to steal anymore. So how will it be? If you decide on it, I'll put in a word for you with the king of beggars. Tell our next writing, Louis. P.S. Burn this letter once you've read it, all right? Well, they did do that. P.P.S. Yes, yes, I know I'm paranoid, but humor me and burn it. P.P.P.S. If, if find this letter next time I come to see you, you owe me a beer. That, I read that right. A Doppler explains a lot and complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down. Yeah, and um, they just burned a Doppler at the stake. You'd think they would exit stage left pretty quickly. Okay. It looks like there's red, but it says it's upstairs. Let's loot along the way. Oh, here's the red. A woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes, but only one bed. Mm. Lavender, strong scent. Enough to track him down. Oh yeah, that'll be useful. Okay, well, I think we will do that, but we will probably do that tomorrow as I'm at a point where I want to pause for today because I don't know how much longer this quest is going to take. So tomorrow we will pick up doing Contract and Elusive Thief first. And then there was this other quest I have. Um, let's see. Not Black Pearl. Following the thread that's also within my level range. So maybe we'll do that as well. Explore some more, no doubt. And kind of go from there. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video.